Kicked off I-35 at beautiful Floyd Casey Stadium, awaiting these teams to do battle. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. College football prime time is brought to you by Spark, because better athletes make better football players. Tonight's matchups between the TCU Horn Frogs and the Baylor Bears. To kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He'll return it from the one. At the 30. He's taken down at the 36. Throws a bullet over the middle. And he's brought down at the 33-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. Tackle at the 11-yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play. Kicks away. And it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right first there. First down, 10 yards to go. Once and all, going deep. He hauls it in to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. It was a textbook post route, and the pass was right on target. And he converts the extra point. Baylor gets set to kick this one away. McCoy takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Williams fields it at the 30. Brought down at the 36-yard line. So to he got a little on that return. Looks left, finding his tailback. So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 64-yard drive. He's going to try and scramble. Throws falling back and got his man. Across midfield. Brought down with only one man to beat. A screen pass works by using a defense's aggressiveness against itself. That time, it worked perfectly. Just as the offensive coordinator drew it up. It feels good when a play gets executed that well. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. Hands it off. Touchdown, TCU! Well-designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's gone up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. And I think there's a young guy over there on the sideline who's still wondering how he didn't make that tackle. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 81-yard drive. He stopped drive. him in his tracks that time. Option right. There he goes! To the 10. Touchdown! Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. And he's got to be happy with that punt. It's the sophomore that's got it. And they finally knock him out at the 37. That makes it first first and ten. He's scrambling, feeling the pressure. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. Outside. 
They got across the line a bit too soon. Give the quarterback some credit here for using his cadence to draw the defense off sides. First down, looking to throw. Going to go across the middle, caught. Tackle made at the 12. TCU calls a timeout. He's scrambling. Looks to him again, complete. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 93-yard drive. Half. The Man. score here at Floyd Casey Stadium. The Horned Frogs, 24. The Bears, 14. He airs it out. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He finally goes down at the 32-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. You play the quarterback position, you have to be able to read the defense and look off defenders. He didn't really do that on that pass. He was lucky he was only Put a six tip, DBs not a on the pick. field to counter that five-receiver look. Looking to throw. Under pressure. Intercepted. And he's taken down the 39-yard line. A well-timed interception there. Well. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. And man, the defender has his eyes on the guys covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. The draw within a field goal. Williams is the deep man awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. When... Caught by the sophomore. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Make it three passes for touchdowns. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he adds First the down. extra point. So it... He scrambles. Deep pass down the left side. Great play there by the defense. They forced the quarterback into throwing his second interception of the day. Well, he wishes he could have that. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. And they bring him down at the 32-yard line. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but... Caught. Nope, it popped out. Incomplete. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He... Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Just a quick little run fake there, and it neutralized the defense. Here's an option. Right side. He has some room. And there isn't anyone who's going to catch this cornerback. He scores. What a play. And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. They really took the pressure off themselves there. That was a great return for a touchdown, and it gives them some breathing room on defense. He makes the PAT. So under... Catches it, and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds at the 37. And that completion gives him over 300 yards. This one's in the books. And our final score, Baylor 35, TCU 24.
as we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, I think this one's going to raise a few eyebrows. TCU really has to be discouraged about losing a game they probably should have won. You can bet their coach will have a nice long talk with his players after this performance. Now we take a look at our player of the game, and a donation of $10,000 will be made to his school's general scholarship fund. 